Hello, folks. Welcome back to our top three series today. We are counting down the top three sports highlights of 2021. Carlos Ramirez or Telemundo 48. Sports anchor is here and is ready. But I mean, you're always ready. I'm ready. I'm, I was born ready. <laughs> That's what they all say. Yeah. We're yeah. about to see. Anyway, before we get started, if you missed any of our previous episodes, we've done top three weather events so far and top three consumer issues of 2021. You can watch them all right now on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and our Apple and Roku app. So you don't miss out, but back to sports now. All right, this year was a wild one for sure. Many teams making their post-pandemic yeah. comebacks. I mean, it was exciting. A lot of major highlights, though really hard to narrow down. I it know, was. Carlos. It was. But what's your number three pick? Let's start with that one. Let's go with number three. Uh, those who are great remember or know who Stephen Curry is <laughs> and what he did. I think this, we know. We know. So we're all chasing uh, Stephen Curry breaking the all-time record for three-pointers in the NBA. And we didn't know if he was going to make it by the time we were going to shoot this, but he did. We was a long time coming, and we saw it happen on Madison Square Garden of all places. It would have been great if it happened at Chase Center at home in front of the crowd, but uh, we just had to wait and see what happened. And it was on his third attempt from the floor at MSG. We saw tickets sold for $24,000. No one to miss what Stephen Curry did, so he's now the new NBA three-pointer king. He's the best shooter of all time, uh, and to have him at this age, 33 years old, breaking that record was just remarkable. I mean, you're talking about that. How old was Ray Allen? He was he bit, kind of the same age, but a, a bit older because he took almost twice as much games as Curry did to break the record oh, wow. or to establish his new mark, I, I should say. But uh, it, 10 years went by because uh, Ray Allen broke Reggie Miller's record in 2011. So mm. it took just 10 years for Steph, who came into the league in 2009, to do what Ray Allen did in 18 years, basically. Wow. So it, it was just Remarkable. That's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. It That's is. incredible. Okay. Now moving on to that second spot in your list of top three. What do we have? Well, we're going to talk about a couple more. We have the 49ers. Okay. At home. Yeah. Against the Rams, mm -hmm. which was amazing because you just talked about the pandemic and what that meant. And yeah. having no fans at Levi Stadium was just horrible. I got to call last year's games on the radio for the Niners and having no faithful there was just um, an empty sensation of... It was weird. It was just like a glorified practice or just team drills. It wasn't fun at all. But remember, the Niners didn't win a game at home for over a year. Yeah, long time. And it was against the Rams last time that happened. So mm. fans were back at Levi's. They were very anxious to see their team win again. And it happened again against the Rams. It was a very dominating performance to see over 60,000 people back at Levi's win a game, a divisional game, and the way they did it, it was just sort of everything clicking back together and having a sense of normalcy back in the mm. Bay. It was really, really fun. It felt like the world was uh, back to normal, kind of, right? a little bit, uh, for a day or two at least. Yeah. Um, but it was just a, a fun day. Niners, like I said, last time they won at home was October 2020, and there was no fans there against yeah. the Rams. Last time, Abby, that the Niners won a game at home with fans was the NFC Championship game against the Packers. That was January 2020. It seems like 10 years ago. Mm. So to have that feeling back, to be there at Levi's, it was a Monday night football game. It was just spectacular. You were there? I was there. Yes, I was there. Yeah, no, it that really is a highlight of it 2021 is. because fans not being there makes all the difference. I mean, Absolutely. you could hear it. People were like, oh, it doesn't really sound different. And I mean, I'd imagine being in yeah. person there is a completely different vibe. So that was definitely a good highlight of 2021. Okay, that number one spot. Let's it, drum. I always want to do a drum roll, and it never works out. Let's do drum a drum roll. roll. <laughs> drum roll, please. So we. Top spot. It, it, had, it has to be the San Francisco Giants and what they yeah. did this year to win the toughest division in all baseball. We're talking about the NL West mm -hmm. and beating a multi-million dollar team like the LA Dodgers, a team that invested so much money like the Padres and them being like the small engine that could with players that not many people knew who they were. Uh, basically this uh, constellation of players who were either injured in their past or had something to prove uh, that were kind of outcast from MLB and Farhan Zaidi just put them together with the best coaching staff in baseball. Gabe Kapler won manager of the year. The team won 107 games, Abby. Yeah. That's a record for the franchise. Uh, going down to the wire to the last game of the season 
for them to clinch the NL West was just uh, a, a magical season. It ended on a low note because they lost to the Dodgers in that series, but yeah. Um, Still a great series. It though. was a magical year. I, I can't say that enough. Uh, we saw young players develop like Camille Duvall. We saw what Logan Webb turned into. We saw players come back from injury like Buster Posey after he took the year off from COVID and reemerge as the all-star that he was going back to an all-star game. Uh, it was just fantastic. And it brought the community together. It was the first sport we had back with fans in the stadium, on the stand, in the stands. So uh, that was just a year we'll never forget here in the Bay. Certainly a thrilling year for Giants fans. It was. Love that top number one. Those were great choices. Uh, Stephen Curry, of course, breaking that NBA all-time record of three-pointers was definitely my top of the list. All right. That's but let us know at home what you would have chosen. What are your top sports highlights of this year? Let us know your favorites in the comments. It's always fun it talking is. with you. Thank you, Abby. Super fun. Let's do this next year. Let's, yeah, or sooner. We don't have to wait to, for a year <laughs> to talk. That's true. We don't have thank to. You. Wait. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for the top three stories of 2021 with our anchor, Rosh Mathai.